sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Isolam Lakeham, Namaste, Hotep, Shalom, Lakeham, peace. This is Tracy Lene Muhammad, and I am sitting on the dock of the bay. I'm not wasting time, though. I am taking the time to write out the things that I want to release, that I have decided to release during this beautiful energy of a full moon. And as I write and let go, I feel freer and lighter, more beautiful, more cognizant of how amazing I am and my life is and all of the people I get to be blessed to know. I'm so grateful. I encourage you, if you're not doing one already, to decide to release and use the energy of this full moon to let go. Move on. Deserving of a spectacular life, and anything that's blocking that has to go. Don't waste any more time on that dead relationship. If it can't be resurrected, move on, let it go. You deserve to be loved first by yourself because I know this when you look at those ducks, like you guys see when you love yourself. You attract that love right back to you. So if you're in a situation and that love isn't being mirrored back to you, but in your soul you feel like it can work, just start working on yourself and it'll work itself out. If you are facing foreclosure, repossessment, repossession of your car, loss of your children, whatever is going on in your life, surrender the fear. Fear takes away power. When you live in fear, you have no power to change anything. So whatever you're facing, and everybody on this planet is facing something, everybody, no matter what you think their life looks like, there's some stuff going on in it because that's why it's life. By releasing it, some people, what happens is they don't live in fear. So what you see is them working through their fears versus being paralyzed by it. If you pay attention, every three or four years, there's a virus that shocks and puts fear in people who vibrate on a very low level because there's nothing to fear. I'm not saying not, take, not to take precautions, but fear does nobody any good. But when we live in a world and the majority of the people are living in fear, then that means the energy is very fearful. And fearful energy causes a lot of fearful things to happen. I refuse to live in fear of anything. And that doesn't mean that I don't have fear, but it means I don't live in it. I look at it, I examine it, and then I, I have always been the type of person that I just jump right into something very much a free spirit. I used to not like saying I was a free spirit because I thought it was a cliche. I used to be afraid to be exactly who I knew I was. Not anymore. I've decided at 51 years that no matter how much time I have left, I'm going to live authentically, unleashed, unfiltered, and titled bliss. Feels so good. Thank you for listening to me. Go do your ritual. Go get yourself all freed up from stuff that doesn't serve you. So one of the rituals that I'm going to share with you that I do is I take time to meditate and do a stillness practice. And then I write out whatever comes to me that feels like it needs to be released. And then I burn it. I burn it out in nature for two reasons. One, I don't like my house smelling like paper smoke. And two... The universe can handle whatever I got. Takes it away. Thank you. Now let me go back to sitting in the evening sun. Well, morning sun. Midday sun. <laughs> go listen to Otis Redding too. Bye, Salam Namaste, Hotel. Shalom, Peace out to 